Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson has been ruled out for week 18 with the knee. He's not going to play. Um, but if everybody doesn't know what's going on with Lamar Jackson, he's been in contract negotiations with the Baltimore Ravens for the last few seasons now, right? He's a former MVP. Everybody has gotten paid. The Ravens have not had a history of paying their players. You know, they, they have a certain formula that they do. Do you feel, and anybody can answer this, that Lamar Jackson has played his last game as a Raven? I don't think so. I think they'll figure out the money somehow. Okay. I think part of it is is because he's so involved in it. Yeah. It probably bothers them. Mm-hmm. He wants to make sure he gets his full value for his gameplay and things of that nature. He probably wants a certain amount of money guaranteed. He probably wants to be one of the he, highest played he, quarterbacks he in the league. He wants the Sean Watson money. He wants his contract fully guaranteed like Watson. I mean, with his knee is not helping. But is he negotiating himself? Like yes. Bobby Brack? He's, yeah, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't have an agent. He doesn't have an agent. Oh, I think it's his yeah. mom. His yeah. mom is his agent. Yeah, right. Um, exactly. So... I think the knee's not helping the situation. Yeah, it's it not. Doesn't. Yeah, it, it doesn't. Yeah, right. I mean, and, and that's that's been the the Ravens' biggest issue with him. It's not the fact that they don't love him. They love him. Right. They love the guy. Yeah. But what kind of monetary value do you put on a guy that uses his legs so often? Right. True. That has been injured. A good amount. Each of the last three seasons. Yep, good amount. Right? Yep. How much money do you put into that? If you give a guy like that guaranteed money, he's only going to suit up for you 12 to 13 games out of a 17-game season or possibly 18 because they still want to bump it up again. Yep. Right? Yep. They they're missing. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're talking about that. Yep. Um, think about that. That's five games. That's five, possibly six games a season that you may miss your quarterback. It's a big chunk of your season. Yep. You know what I mean? That's a third of your season. I was going to say that. So, right. I understand the Ravens kind of hesitancy. Yeah. That's, yep, that's right? the perfect word. To yes. sign him to a long term, fully guaranteed contract. True. Right? Yeah. He's not a drop back quarterback like Brady that's just going to stay there and. If he gets yeah. hit on his helmet, it's a penalty, right? Yeah. This guy is going to break the take pocket. He's going to take run. off. He's going to make plays with his legs. And you don't know what's going to happen with that because the, anything can happen. We've seen that he's gotten hurt. So yeah, I, I don't know what the middle ground is. Mm-hmm. I do believe that he does deserve to get paid, right? I do believe he, gets, he does deserve he to get does. paid by someone. Oh, whether it be Baltimore or whether it be some other team that comes in there. Whether it be Jets. Jets, yeah, Jets mm-hmm. Dolphins, Jets. Um, Raiders. Possibly, yeah. Raiders. Although they I broke, can see the Raiders. They're, I can see the Raiders. They're, they're broke, it. though. They're broke. Are they really? <laughs> they're broke. They're broke. Uh-huh. They're broke. Um, so you know, we'll see. I don't. I don't. I don't see that happening in regards. So I think I agree with you, Mel. That I don't see a divorce happening. But nah, you never know. But you never know because yeah, if the Ravens look at it like you're just too much of a risk, and I, obviously. I don't think Lamar Jackson is going to be happy with language in the contract that in case he he misses certain amount of games, they can be able to recoup certain amount of money, right? He's not going to like that. So if that's the case, then where's the middle ground, right? It's either they they concede and give in or they hold their ground and and they have to they have to part ways. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he loves Baltimore. He does. Know, that city loves him, man. And I mean, but it he is puts a business. The people in the seats. But they're gonna people love the next to see guy. See him. It is so a it's like, thing. yeah, it's a business. Yeah. You know, I mean, the Ravens are on national TV because of him. Yeah. You know, so they gotta figure it out. Like you said, there's gotta be some sort of middle ground. Yeah. Um, maybe you give him eighty percent of his contract guaranteed. I don't know. Maybe his bonuses are higher. And there isn't as much of a guarantee. Maybe, like you said, stipulations. He plays a certain amount of games. He gets this as a bonus. Do you, 
you know, out of 17 games, you win 11, you win 12, you get to the playoffs, you get this, but whatever. You know how contracts are. You know yeah. all the stipulations, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to say divorce, but like you said, you never know. But we'll see what happens. I mean, what did he turn out, 250? Yeah. It was 250? Something like that. I think it was 250. Yeah, listen, if, if Tom Brady. I don't know how much of it was getting. Tom Brady but. can get divorced. <laughs> the, ra- the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. So, anything anything's there. possible. This yeah. Is, anything's possible nowadays. Yes. If, if Giselle going to say, I'm walking away from the GOAT. Shoot. Right? Yes. You will never walk away yes. from the GOAT. Yes.